Hi, welcome to Pictures, Noise and Words. I'm Heji, and this is Tenga Cavalry. And I may not be saying that right. I had an email from a guy called Tim Higgins, and he basically recommended this band, which is a Mongolian band. And that's a, definitely a new one on me, so, so I had to have a look, of course. Um, yeah, the, I th from what Tim tells me, and I've got his email in, in front of me, that's why I keep looking over there. The main guy, who I'm guessing is the guy in the middle, is Mongolian. Um, but he now lives in New York, so everyone else in the band might be from New York. So it's not exactly... Can I say it's not authentic Mongolian folk metal? Um, because they live in New York? I don't know. I mean, if I don't know, how's that? You decide. But the guy's is Mongolian. Um, I haven't heard this, by the way, so I'm wondering what we're going to get. But I'm, I'm sort of intrigued because apparently the singer does throat singing. Um, and if you don't know what throat singing is, I certainly can't show you. But um, go and look it up. It's it's kind of cool and weird. Um, it's not very tuneful, <laughs> but it is cool and weird. Um, yeah, don't know. Let's see. Um, this is a song called Cavalry in Thousands, which is also the name of the album, so it's the title track. And I've lost the song in my tabs. Oh, there it is. Right. So, yeah, I don't know what we're going to get, um, but let's face it, Mongolian metal. Well, that's a new one on me. I don't know about you guys. Hany ho, hany, hany boo. Here we go. throat singing thing it might be the new death metal voice what do you think <clears throat> we've had the cookie monster to death so perhaps it's time for something like this it, it, it creates a drone doesn't it so you get this like a almost um almost like a, what's the word you know almost like monks kind of kind of thing but obviously a bit more maybe the wrong kind of monks you know black monks I, I may have made them up um but I like that you can hear the traditional instruments as well. They've kept them up in the mix instead of them getting drowned out. Mm.
well, you have to applaud them just for just for just for bringing something new. I think um, I always have this thing where I say, you know, heavy metal can incorporate anything, anything, you know, opera or whatever. But I must admit, Mongolian folk music was not on the list of things I was thinking of. But there you go, ta-da! Um, I saw. I don't. I don't dislike it, I, but I wouldn't listen to it. I don't think I, I quite like it because it's because it's different and unique. I think that that immediately makes you go, "Ooh, what's this?" You know, and pay attention to it. I would like to see them live at a festival or something like that. You know, because then you would be they would stand out, and you and it would be a great sort of I don't know thirty minutes entertainment if you if you went to see them. Um, I can't imagine myself playing it. In my car, say um, maybe I mean, it's only one listen, but the throat singing thing. Now, what do you think of that? Do you think it's the next Cookie Monster? You know, all everyone's going to have to, everyone will have to go out and learn how to throat sing because it's going to be the new wave, and then um, and then some really nice looking ladies going to do it, and the internet will lose its mind because that's how things work, isn't it? Um, Yeah, Tenga Cavalry. I'm really not sure I'm saying Tenga right. Seems too easy. Uh, from the album Cavalry in Thousands, and that was the song Cavalry in Thousands. If you like that, check them out. I mean, obviously, this is the internet and this is YouTube, so I'm sure there's other uh, examples out there for you to check. But yeah, my, my, my thoughts are they're interesting because they're different, and I'd quite like to see them pop up live somewhere you know, supporting somebody or in a, a festival sort of setting. Would I buy it? I'm not rushing out to buy it, I must admit. <laughs> but Tim, thanks very much for, for bringing something new yet again um, to the channel. Um, metal is everywhere and metal gets into everything and everything gets incorporated into metal, including Mongolian folk music. Thanks for watch, watching, and I must stop doing this gesture thing at the end. I keep waving and doing this lately. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, I'll tie my hands to the chair or something. Sorry about that. I must apologize for this hand. Um, see you soon. <laughs> I think I'm losing my marbles. Bye bye.